Jackie Regal, PGA Director of Player Development here at Monarch Beach Golf Links, and this is your Monday Mulligan. In continuation of our playing series, I'm out here on hole number 17, trying to give you some tips on how to finish your round strong. So the pin is back right, I'm 150 yards. I'm actually gonna choose to hit a knockdown shot. My preferred shot when the ball, when the green is below my tee box, I don't really like to hit it high. I like to hit it, flight it low, a little bit more of a penetrating ball flight. So I actually have my 155 club and I'm, my goal is to take it left of the flag and just kind of have it fall to the right. This flag is in a sort of bowl on the screen. So if I hit it left of the screen, it should kick a little right to the flag. Mind you, if the flag wasn't there and you're not super comfortable with where this flag is, hit it to the middle of the green when you're trying to finish your round strong. Play it to the middle of the green, don't get cute. So it looks like I just hit the shot I wanted to. Let's go see if we can make this birdie putt. So I have to say, I'm pretty stoked with this golf shot. Though I would have loved to have been below the flag, I'll take this on hole 17. So I'm definitely feeling like a left to right break, feeling it with my feet. And I'm actually gonna leave the flag stick in just to help with pace of play. Why not? Every little second counts. So with that, I'm gonna really pick out my intended target in regards to my apex of this putt, the highest breaking point of the putt, I see quite a bit. Take a nice deep breath, visualize the putt rolling on its line. I've already made it in my mind, so hopefully I'll do it in real life. And that feels really good to make a putt here on 17. I'm Jackie Regal, and that's your Monday Mulligan.